HIMTV baby. Um, this is the Santos Grotto project. We started just before Christmas kicked in and the roof's now been done. As you can see there's no scaffold. All this has been painted up. It's nice and clean so we'll give that a tickle. New windows apart from the bay. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you about that in a minute because I've had a couple of delays on that. So into the hallway. See the plaster, plaster's now drying out. For a new front door on here. Waiting for each uh, so it's just had an undercoat. Needs painting. Fuse box is done. Right, we're leaving the windows open and the doors open so we're trying to dry the plaster out. Uh, this is the downstairs bedroom. As you can tell by the colour of the skin. Still drying out, everything's drying out. A nightmare on this job, drying times. This is the bay window. <clears throat> There's the en-suites. That's ready for second fix. Plumbers starting in a couple of days to do that. So we'll have all showers and whatever else. This is the living room. Let's grow back. <laughs> so, ceilings are skimmed, these walls are being done now. And there's the kitchen. So, we've pink boarded the ceiling here, so it's got the fire protection and also on the party wall. This will be skimmed today, finished off tomorrow. Kitchen's going in later on this week. Some pipe work behind us there, plumbers left. So what we actually do. Oh, excuse me. Right, so this is the this is a bit of a tip for you. When all the pipe work's been put in, we we we, we blank all the ends off. <coughs> excuse me. And then what we do is put a load of pressure a little bit of water inside the pipework, pressurise it all up to, to check to see if there's any leaks before we actually board everything up. So obviously what we don't want to do is plaster everywhere, then pressurise the system and find we've got leaks. So what we actually do is put a valve on and then if you can see this pressure gauge here, that tells us what the pressure is so we can monitor, monitor it on a daily basis. So on this one we're okay. There's a little top tip. I'm in the room out of way. Back door's done. Gotta get out of the way. Um, I can't get down the cellar, but the cellar's been pink boarded and skimmed. So I'll take you up the stairs. So, this is the stairs. So, as you can see, the second fix joinery's been done because it's dry in here. So, the skirting boards are all in. Some of the second fix has been done with the sockets. Okay, this is the driest room in the house. So as you can see, the skirting boards are all done. We've stored the laminate floor in here so you can acclimatise. We've got some glass behind. <coughs> I'm gonna open these windows a bit more, try and get some, get some breeze. So this is another tip, is in all the en suites, it's a common thing we do, but if you don't know, you don't know. If you can see the floor, what we actually do is we overboard all the floor in the en suites. If you can see that there. The reason is because it gives it a, it gives it a nice flat seat. It, it gives it, oh, excuse me, I'm not. Sorry, I've got a back back. It gives it a nice flat surface. So, what we do in the en suite is because of maintenance issues, if, if a plumber's got to come in and try and get underneath there and, the tile, and it's tile floor and there's a pipe issue, you've got to smash it all up, which is going to be really expensive on maintenance, which is going to affect your numbers and your voids. Sorry, not your voids, sorry, for your, your return. 
So what we generally do is we overboard it, we put vinyl, but to make the vinyl feel like it's, it's decent, like a cushion of flooring, we'll actually overboard the floors. Because otherwise what will happen is the floorboards over time, you'll start seeing the lines going down. So if you overboard it and it's flat, it's still easy to get up for do maintenance, but it gives it a nicer finish. So, little top tip. If you don't know, you don't know, but it's a very simple thing. So this room's done. Um, the paint is coming in actually. This is another room, this is pretty much done. As you can see. Skirting boards are done. Door frames are made up. Skirting boards. If you see inside of you again, drying time. This is the ensuite wall. This is on the stud wall, so it's on the inside. And then the walls that get towards the back end, and this is the outside wall. You can see the colour and the, the colour difference. So it's like a dark brown instead of a pink. But that's pink. So obviously we can't stick anything in there because if anything is trying to stick to the walls, it's going to fall off because it's still wet. So drying time is a big thing. Top floor, this is still trying to dry out, but obviously the moisture in the house with the heat rises to the top, so it's always going to be the worst one to try and dry. So we've got a few materials in here. As you can tell, like along this beam, it's dry but it's still wet on the outside, that's the outside wall. So it is drying, but it's not dry enough. You have to be careful trying to put too much heat in here because if you do put too much heat in, you can cause it to crack because you're drying it out. You're forcing it to dry. See the difference? And then the back bedroom. Same scenario. So the majority of it's dry, but you can still see the, the colour variations. But then on the roof, that's the roof rake, and then the outside wall, still, still dark, so it's not quite ready for paint. If you try and paint plaster when it's still wet, it doesn't, doesn't kind of key, doesn't bed in properly. So from the last video I did, We've had another delay, and that is that the window fitters have fitted half of the house, and now for some reason, I'm not quite sure the reason as to why I'm trying to find out what's going on, is the fitters can't come back, and the time they give me to try and come back and finish off the property is, um, is about another two or three weeks, so I'm not very happy with that. So my joiners are going to be sticking that in for now. Um, but yeah, you always have to keep on top of the trades and manufacture times along with drying times can cause issues but we've got past it but it can happen because it's all about timing but the biggest thing on this project has been about the drying time but like I say the plumbers should be coming in some we can do some we can't and then the paint is starting I'm hesitant to put a painter in here just yet because there's not that much you can paint properly because of the drying. Anyway, that's a quick update from me. I'll see you later.